Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here for another episode of BAM's Manual. In this episode, we will talk about the Matrix Panel. The Matrix Panel is the heart of the BAM project structure. Displayed as a grid of cells containing colored MIDI clips for each number track and white scene launcher buttons on the master track. Triggering a clip. To trigger a single clip, simply click the clip you want to trigger. By default, this action also selects the clip which is shown by a white border around the clip's cell. Automatic selection can be turned off in preferences. To be able to edit a clip on either the Composer or the Automations panel, the clip and respective track must be selected. A clip that is in a triggered state is shaded brighter than non-triggered state clips. As a clip plays a visual indication of its playback position is represented by a progressive horizontal shading graduating from left to right. When the end of the clip is reached, it will automatically loop back to the start of the clip and playback will continuously loop until the clip is stopped. Clicking a different clip on the same track will select and prepare it for triggering according to the trigger quantization project settings, accessed via the cog icon in the bottom toolbar. In this state, the clip will be flashing until it starts the playback. Clicking a clip from a different track will select and trigger the new clip, synchronizing the playback with currently playing clips. You can see that both clips are now selected because they both have a white border, and both clips will also have brighter shading to show they are currently playing. Selecting a clip without triggering it. To select a clip without playing it, click the clip while Shift is active. This will give the clip a white border which signals the clip is selected, but the shading of the clip will not change as the clip was not triggered. Triggering a scene. Clicking a scene launcher button on the master channel will trigger playback of all clips on the same horizontal row, adhering to the project trigger quantization setting. When a scene launcher is active, its cell will be shaded brighter than the other scene launcher cells. To select the scene while triggering it, click the scene while Shift is active. We will now look to the matrix UI. Here we have move select one scene position up. Here move selected scene one position down. Here create a new scene. Created scenes will be added directly under the currently selected scene. Here delete selected scene. Duplicate selected scene. Select scene follow action. Here we have number of bars before the follow action event occurs. And here additional number of beats before the follow action event occurs. Here we have the button for activate deactivate follow actions. Here the scene launcher buttons. And here track stop buttons and scene stop button. Clicking and holding a clip or empty cell reveals this pop-up context menu to perform relevant actions from copy, paste, mute and clear. For the iOS version, you have two more options for import and export MIDI. This will be available on desktop soon. Clicking and holding a scene button reveals this pop-up context menu to perform relevant actions as well. Add scene, duplicate, copy, paste, delete, select, move up, move down and rename. We will now discuss scene follow actions. For automatic transitions between scenes and song arrangement purposes, scenes can be assigned a follow action event to occur after a specified number of bars and beats from the moment the scene starts playing. To assign a follow action, 
select the scene and then use the follow action settings above the clip matrix. Scenes that have a follow action assigned show a two letter abbreviation of the selected follow action type. None, the scene will loop without applying a follow action. Next, play next scene, previous, play previous scene, first, play first scene, last, play last scene, R&D any, play a random scene, R&D other, play a random scene excluding the currently played scene, last playing, play last playing scene, stop, stop scene clips. If the project song playback is stopped while a scene is running, by using the main BAM stop button or the bottom bar, the scene launcher and all playing clips will remain in a waiting for a trigger state, and the scene button will be with a lighter shade. Pressing the play button will launch the scene from the beginning, and will continue to follow actions if present. If you want to clear the waiting for trigger state for a single clip, you can use the track stop button. When a scene is playing, there will be a gray progress bar which represents the progress of the scene based on either the longest clip of the scene if no follow action is active, or the time until an assigned follow action will occur. If you want to clear the waiting for trigger states, you must press the stop button of the master track. This is useful, for example, if you want to play a single clip, press the stop button on the master track and click the clip. This will not trigger follow actions. To trigger them, after pressing the stop button on the master track, a scene button must be clicked. You can deactivate follow actions by pressing the deactivate follow actions button. Clicking a track stop button will stop the currently playing clip on that track only. Clicking the master stop button stops playback of all clips currently playing. You can access additional functions for some tools by using them with the shift button engaged, which is located at the bottom left and right corner of the app. This shift functions include duplicate single clips by dragging, this includes notes and automations, and select clips scenes without triggering. This is it for this video, I hope you have enjoyed it and join us for the next one.